Here we are in the 2021 Runaway Range Runner Camper. We've got 400 watts of solar up on the roof. We've got a refrigerator running outside. We've got the air conditioner running. We have the TV on. We've got lights on completely off grid. Everything in this whole system, we've got links down below for all the products you need to do this in your Runaway Range Runner. Stick around for the rest of the video. We're gonna show you all the components, how we installed it, and do some tests on it. So what we have here is we have a 206 amp hour SOK battery. Um, after the battery, we have a 200 amp fuse, a &L fuse, with a battery master disconnect. After the battery on the negative side, or going into the battery on the negative side, we have the, um, uh, a shunt that's going to uh, read the state of charge for this battery. Everything's going to go to these two bus bars. And from the bus bars, we divert off into the system. We have the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Um, we're going to have a changeover, a manual changeover switch. We have the Ames Power uh, converter battery charger. Of course, you have the Rich Solar uh, 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller with Bluetooth. Uh, Everything's gonna have its own disconnect. I have a disconnect from the solar panels to the solar charger and from the solar charger to the rest of the system. That way I can isolate that and service it. I also have my 12 volt circuit and it'll be isolated with a 100 amp disconnect switch and this is all of my 12 volt. I have USBs, I have switches, I have uh, accessory outlets. And I've got plenty of spaces on this to add my 12 volt. Whenever I can run 12 volt, that's my plan. So now what we have to do is we have to put all this together, wire it upright with the right size cables, and we're going to put it into the 2021 Runaway Camper. Okay, so we've got all the wiring done and everything installed inside the front end of the Runaway Camper. And I'll kind of go through the system and the setup and explain what we have going on here. Um, this is our uh, 40 amp rich solar MPPT solar charge controller. So what we're going to have is we're going to have the solar panels on the roof, the power coming in from the solar panels. It's going to come in. I have a 16 amp breaker right here. That's going to isolate the solar panels from the MPPT controller comes out of the 16 amp breaker and it goes into the solar charge controller. From that point, once it's all converted, it comes out of the solar charge controller, goes into the 40 amp circuit breaker, out of the 40 amp circuit breaker and into the bus bars. Now the bus bars are connected to the battery. So that's the solar charging system. Uh, what I have here is a Renogy 2000 watt inverter. Um, on the negative side, I have a AILI, -A I guess it's an Alley uh, battery monitor that's connected directly out of the battery. Out of that battery goes to the bus bar, and the inverter is connected to that bus bar. So feeding the hot side of the inverter, of course we have the battery. I have a 200 amp fuse back here, back behind here, and then I have a main disconnect for the battery, and then that hot side feeds to this positive bus bar. Out of the positive bus bar, I have one hot cable coming through the isolator switch comes out of the isolator switch and then back in through into the inverter. That way I can isolate this inverter um, at any point just to keep it out of the system because even though it'll be turned off, it can still draw a little bit of power so I can just isolate that out. Also on this system, I've set up a inverter pre-charge circuit. So anytime I isolate this battery, the capacitors will eventually drain down. And before I turn power onto the inverter, I pre-charge the inverter by pressing this. And it starts out at 14 volts, and as it runs down, it'll run down to zero volts, and 
once that happens, I know that the capacitors are pre-charged on the inverter and I can turn the inverter on. The shore power charger. Now the shore power charger is gonna be hooked to a shore power outlet 24 seven. Um, and what that does is when there's no energy coming in through the solar panels, this solar charger comes through, comes through my 80 amp breaker right here and back to these bus bars and that will charge the battery um, either off a of shore power or a generator depending on what scenario I am in. If there's not sun and I'm completely off grid, I can recharge the batteries with the generator. So I also have a changeover switch at this point. So if I'm running on shore power or inverter, that way I never cross over. I never have inverter power powering these outlets at the same time shore power is powering these outlets. So in the number one position, the inverter is completely disconnected from the, from the outlets and I'm running completely on shore power. Or if I go to two, shore power is completely disconnected and I'm running solely on inverter to the power strips. That way I don't have that crossover. So right now you can see back behind here, this is my panel that I have covering the battery box. Right? And you can kind of see how this pre-charge circuit works. Um, I have a push button, just a momentary push button switch. And what that does is that closes the circuit across this switch. So I have one of these wires essentially connected to the inside of the switch, one of the other wires connected to the outside of the switch. In that circuit, I have the 12 volt monitor. That way I can read the voltage on that and see where I'm at with the voltage during the pre-charge. And I have a 25 watt 30 ohm resistor, and that eliminates the inrush of voltage into those capacitors. Over here, we have the low voltage side. I don't think you can see this, but I have a uh, 12 space, a 12 fuse, 12 volt fuse box. We're gonna be, we have an outlet for our uh, Alpi Cool refrigerator. We're gonna have our USB ports. We're gonna have LED lights in here. We're gonna have some LED lights on the outside of the, of the camper. So our next step now is we have the 200 watt rich solar solar panels. We're gonna be unboxing those, getting those installed on the roof. Those are the last two sets of wires that I need to install. I'm gonna run them in series through. They're gonna come through here and run through the 16 amp breaker. All I have to do is hook up two wires to this breaker and this project will be complete. All right, what we have here is the Rich Solar uh, 200 watt monocrystalline panels. They come in the 400 watt Rich Solar MPPT40 kit. It has a 40 amp MPPT controller. It comes with the 10 gauge wires from the panels. It's these right here, they come from the panels into the charge controller and it also has the 10 gauge wires from the charge controller to the battery. Um, also comes with a 15 amp fuse, inline fuse. This will be installed in between the solar panel and the MPPT charge controller. Also it comes with mounting brackets. If you need to use these on the roof, I'm not gonna be utilizing these just because of my configuration. I have these racks up here, but pretty heavy duty uh, clips, screws to screw it into the roof, bolts to bolt it onto the panels. It comes with four clips for each panel. So let's go ahead and open one of these things up, take a look at it, see how it looks. What can I say? It's a 200 watt panel and I'll be installing these on top of the roof. And as soon as we get this installation done, we'll show you how that looks. So I've got the solar panels installed on the roof now. And we need to run the wires, drill a hole through the roof, put the entry gland on and wire it up. 
So you can see here, I just used U-bolts through the frame. That's how it's installed. It's super sturdy. This thing isn't going anywhere. All right, everything's all wired up. Finish, we've got 400 watts of rich solar. Solar panels on the roof. We've got the Champion 2000 and 2000 watt inverter generator for shore power when we're off grid, when we need it, when the solar panels can't keep up on a cloudy day. Have the Alpicool LG55 refrigerator. Let's take a look inside, see what we have here. All right, our 12 volt uh, fuse box with our low voltage coming off of it. All right, we've got the circuit back here and that's for the external plug for the refrigerator or any other accessory that we'd wanna plug in. It's a SAE connector. We have a couple of USB ports. These right now I have a light plugged in. I have the antenna for the, for the television plugged in. Uh, so let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll turn on the 120 volt circuit. So the first thing I need to do is charge the capacitors. So we're running down the voltage. We started out at 12, we're at 10, nine. We're gonna run this down until we have no voltage differential. So right at four volts, we start losing the voltage meter because it needs at least four volts to run. That means we have no voltage potential across that switch. That means the capacitors are charged. Give it just a couple more seconds. We're good. Now we can turn on and energize power to the inverter with this switch. So now our inverter is energized. We can go ahead and switch on the inverter with the switch. You hear it power up. Then we're gonna go ahead and turn it on inverter power to activate the power strips. Those power strips are what the television is plugged into. The air conditioner is plugged into. Television's powering up now. Definitely right? need to Got good coverage with our antenna. One of the big problems with them is that they... Change the channels. All right, so we have all the TV we need. Now let's go ahead and turn the air conditioner on, show that the air conditioner works. So we're gonna start off with fan low. Now that the fan's running, let's go ahead and turn it on low cool. So all of our accessories right now, let's go ahead and turn this light on. All of our accessories right now are drawing uh, 19 amps. That's with the solar putting energy into the batteries and it drawing off. So 19 amps with the air conditioner running uh, with a 200 amp hour battery, that could run for 10 hours before killing the battery. In this small space though, in the evenings, we're only gonna run this air conditioner for 10 minutes max, just to cool off the space. The sun will be down. Um, as soon as it cools down in the evening, we won't need the air conditioner. So the air conditioner is just going to be utilized to cool the space. But as you can tell, we're running the air conditioner off of the batteries, off of the inverter. We got the TV. We got everything we need in here now. So this system is working like we want it to work. So make sure you follow us. Um, we're going to be using this here next week. We're going down to the Keys. We're going to be camping down on the Keys uh, off grid, no electric. We're gonna do some real world testing on how this system is working, how the batteries can keep up. I'm sure we'll get some cloudy days. We may have to use the generator. So keep an eye on this. Follow us from Stonebroke Adventure. Until next time, 